In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you and discuss how to set up VS Code to work with PHP. Typically when I work locally on my Windows environment with PHP, I've used MAMP and downloaded MAMP. I'm going to recommend that you still use MAMP or a similar program called XAMP is another option. Uh, but this is the URL for MAMP that I'm showing currently. And the reason why is your VS Code needs a PHP executable um, interpreter uh, in order to be configured for PHP programming. Uh, so I would recommend that you set up and install a program like MAMP. Uh, and when you have MAMP set up, you'll see that this is what it looks like running. It has an Apache server built in. It's got MySQL built in. It's great for PHP development locally on your computer uh, to build your application before then deploying it to your web hosting provider. Uh, you can check out your servers because it's important um, preferences here to look at to see where things are set up on your computer. Uh, to know the locations and the versions and such uh, of of MAMP and PHP. So ports, this is showing you that your Apache is running on localhost port 81. It's important to know um, the version that you're using. I'm going to set my VS Code compiler to use that version of PHP. Uh, and then additionally, your web server, this is where your web server is running out of. So any application you build locally, uh, if you weren't working directly in VS Code or anything, um, and you want to deploy it on your local host, you'd put it inside of the htdocs directory, unless you've changed your document route. But I'm going to keep that as the default. Uh, so those are just some good background items to know. I have my MAMP obviously started and running here uh, currently. Uh, so if we take a look um, at my current uh, MAMP installation, we're going to find it here on my C drive is where I installed it. And what to note is if you back up, um, I was just in the htdocs folder where the, the default web application runs from, um, but you'll note there's a bin and in your bin is where you're going to find uh, your PHP uh, installs. So if you look at the PHP, then there's a bunch of different versions. Um, so for instance, I was showing 7.2.14. Inside of that directory, there's going to be a PHP executable. I'm going to set my VS Code um, settings up to use that executable. And uh, that way, I'll be able to um, then have my PHP in um, interpreter um, know that that's the executable to use when I'm coding inside of VS Code. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to go back um, to my, I'm going to go to a command prompt. I'm just going to set up a new workspace to work in uh, here for this uh, demo. Um, so I'm going to go to a command and I like to launch workspaces through VS Code this way. So if I go to CD, um, C, MAMP, uh, HT, Docs, Okay, if I build a new directory with MD for make directory, um, I'll do uh, hello world, which is pretty common as a folder. And then I'll CD to hello world so that I'm inside of that directory. And then I'm just going to launch VS Code um, with a shortcut code and a space and a period. And that's going to launch my VS Code editor. Um, it's, it's a cool, pretty cool shortcut. From, and it's going to launch it with that workspace. Okay, so that's why I do it that way. It's a little bit quicker way to get your workspace open. Um, and if, again, this is going to warn you, do you trust this? Because VS Code doesn't know about this location. Um, and you're just going to want to say, trust the authors. Uh, so now, you know, here I am. I have Hello World, but I have no files in there yet. And what I want to do is create a quick Hello World PHP. Uh, but before I do that, I need to tell VS Code, hey, you know, I have a PHP interpreter and I want you to use it. Uh, and what you do in, PH, in um, VS Code a lot of times is you want to configure your preferences. Um, under File Preferences, um, there's Settings. Or if you do this frequently, you'll learn the shortcut key of Control Plus. And if you launch that, um, here you can search your settings. And as you configure VS Code for your liking, and I have mine pretty vanilla right now for demo purposes, uh, you'll see that this will basically edit a settings file. So if we search for PHP here, you're going to see that there are um, some settings, okay? Um, but the executable path is what needs to be set up because it doesn't know um, out 
of um, installation where your PHP executable path is. And that's what I mentioned why we need MAMP. Uh, so we're going to click edit in settings.json. And I already put my PHP executable path in here prior to just save a little bit of time typing it in. Uh, so it's already set. Uh, and you'll see what I did was I set the path. Um, so when you work in settings.json, it's um, a JSON file, um, name value pairs, the the name of the property inside of quotation marks, a colon, um, and then the value that you're setting it to. Um, obviously, if it's an integer value, you don't need quotes around it. Um, if it's a text-based value like this path, uh, it's going to be with uh, double quotes around it as well. Um, as you add more into settings.json, uh, you'll put a comma after each name value pair and then your last one note that it, there's no comma on it okay you don't want to mess this up because then it will mess up your interpreter so you want to be careful uh, when you're putting in files but here this is the path I just showed you to my PHP executable on my computer okay so it should match what I showed you we use forward slashes here um, versus backslashes just as an FYI uh, so it might look a little strange to some of you now, since that's already set up, and I can close that out, I just wanted to show that that's where you set it. Uh, you can enable and disable built-in PHP validation um, and suggest and such. Now, this is going to um, matter to you depending upon which extensions you use. Okay, If you find some cool PHP extensions, and there's a bunch of them in there, uh, you may want to change these settings too um, because you want to use the extensions uh, to help enable or make your PHP development faster. Um, so I'm going to close out the settings configuration. Here in Hello World now, in this folder, I'm going to create a new file. And of course, what we'll do is call this um, index php uh, etc um, essentially okay and then I will just hit enter and now my editor obviously um, it recognizes it as a PHP file you'll see the little PHP icon of the file there and we're just gonna put some simple syntax in here uh, for PHP so basically that's the command to start PHP and then that's the command to end the PHP block and of course since this is hello world we're gonna echo and you'll see my um, Visual Studio Code IntelliSense here is really helping me write my PHP code um, with just with its in built in capabilities without any additional extensions right now. So echo um, and then echo, let's say hello world, of course. We don't need to overcomplicate this demo um, and a semicolon to uh, end the line. Uh, so here, um, obviously, this page I'll show you just in my local host with, with MAMP now. So obviously, here if I go back to my PHP. Um, HT Docs folder, we have hello world and we have um, index.php. Now, since it's running MAMP, of course, we can check this page out. I told you earlier, if we look at preferences, uh, what we had was our Apache server running on 80 port 81. Okay, so what we can do in a web in a new web browser terminal here is we can go to localhost and we can go to port 81 okay and we can go to hello world and now it's going to be case sensitive so just be aware of that when you're working with um, apache web servers and if we hit enter okay it's going to load our index.php page that i just created in visual studio code um, hello world that's fine i mean our interpreter is good to go uh, in terms of developing and then obviously we can test out locally so we are able to do local development on our computer at this point uh, but some of the things with you know obviously VS code is like we want to be able to debug and we want to use the editor to its full capabilities uh, so typically you know if I'm working with code that VS code knows uh, and natively from just doing the install I would at this point I wouldn't go and launch a web browser and check out what I just built I would typically go run start debugging and if I do that here um, you're gonna see Visual Studio Code doesn't know um, how to debug PHP out of um, out of the box so what we need to do is set up a PHP extension uh, from the marketplace to do that and if you click find PHP extension it's going to um, do a search for us which is pretty cool and the most popular uh, one PHP debug obviously sitting here at the top with uh, 
5.9 million installs. And if we install this um, here, okay, um, it's going to give us the PHP debugging capabilities uh, and make our development easier uh, when we're doing uh, such. So if you read over this, um, you know, you can learn about how it works and how, what it's all about. Um, always good to check out what the extensions uh, documentation tell us and uh, how to uh, go about using them and such. Um, you may have to do some additional configurations uh, and such. Okay, um, so sometimes it's good to see uh, what's necessary here to do. Uh, so with this set up and installed, just going back to my PHP place, if we go to run start debugging now, um, you're going to see that my PHP executable is not found um, or add it to your path uh, or set PHP debug executable path setting. Okay, that's another um, one of those things like, like I said, it's not out of the box ready to go uh, and that's why it takes some type of configurations here uh, and it takes some time to get your environment up and running uh, but once you do have it up and running and all um, with your VS code you're able to then successfully uh, work it all so the thing here is that we need this PHP dot debug executable path setting um, and if we open settings here, um, you're going to see that that doesn't exist. So what we can try to do at this point is go back to search here for PHP. And if we go edit in settings here, we're going to add in another path. And we'll do the PHP debug executable path. Okay. And at this case, again, we need to tell it where our PHP runtime is. Uh, and we're going to give this a shot. And save that configuration. We should be able to go back to and close out these extra tabs. We can now try to run and start debugging again. And we'll see now we can actually run. Okay, So this gives us the ability to debug and to use breakpoints and to develop our PHP application. So two things need to be in settings and you could do them initially, uh, save yourself some time, um, or work through the process just like I did in this demo. Uh, once you have it up and running, you know, you can make your changes to your code. So hello world, uh, let's say updated, you know, we can save the changes, um, you know, run and debug, and you're going to see that down below in your debug console, there's your output and all. So some benefits, obviously, you know, I like MAMP and like to go to localhost because if I'm building a full out web application uh, and I want to fully see it and test it in my browsers and everything, uh, then I obviously can go to my localhost and pull the page up uh, just like I did here. You know, there's the changes. Uh, but this is how you get PHP um, set up and running in VS Code as a good starting point. I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please uh, put them below. I uh, hope you subscribe to my channel and look forward to future tutorials. Thanks.